Pass to Anadokounmpo. Physical basketball from Giannis Antetokounmpo. And you love watching Giannis operate inside. So assertive and forceful. Abner outside. Back to Schroeder. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. No question. He got bumped on that shot. It's his first trip to the line. from Schroeder. One thing Dennis Schroeder has proven is that he can be an effective player whether he's starting or coming off the bench. This is a versatile guard and maybe his best attribute? Confidence. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. And to the Kumbo inside. Down low, inside. Yannis drops it in. They are just killing him on the interior. The pass to Schroeder. To the paint. That's tipped, and he gets it back. Gone two of three from the field to start the second half. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Charlie Lamb, Popoulos, and there it is for him. He's got eight. Boy, everyone is getting to their spots and then capitalizing. Three for four in the quarter. Beautiful. Well, they don't make many guards, do they, Doris? As fiery as Fred Van Vliet. They don't, Kevin. He has had to scrap and claw and earn every piece of real estate in the NBA. At six foot one, he's undersized. But what we know unequivocally, he can command an offense, and he's a big-time shot maker when it counts. And guess what? He's going to dig it out defensively, too. You have to admire Fred Van Vliet. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Wow, another empty possession out of the gates. 0 for 4 in this half. And to the Kumbo. On to the Kumbo through contact. Contact just doesn't matter against Giannis. Once he's inside, he is not to be stopped. Abner outside. Good work there as it goes. Abner's got seven. And they get one. Now, one of five here in the third. He's guarded by Schroeder. This is it to Papianis. Shoots over Wagner. Gets it to go. That one good from Papianis. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Gone only one of five from the field since Afton. Very slow start offensively. Here's Wagner. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. But you go back to the fundamentals. Franz Wagner calls for the screen and gets himself some space. On his left side, fires the three, gets it to go from beyond the arc. He has six. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Now Schroeder, he's a solid producer, averaging nearly 22 points a game. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Well, coaches love seeing this from Dennis Schroeder. Recognize the situation, find the open teammate. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Here's Papayanis. He's defended by Wagner. 
Gets it to go. That one good from Papianis. Papianis has got his second basket of the night. And now this game's taken on a whole new feel since halftime. What energy we're seeing. Something has lit a fire under both of these teams. To the inside, Wagner. For three. And this is the mark. His third miss of the game. Four for seven now. Here's Hanta Takumbo. Unable to get that one. And you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. There's Schroeder. And the rejection by Giannis. Just five on the clock. Ogner passes to Schroeder. Over Giannis. And it's Schroeder missing. That's a shot he makes with regularity, but that time the defense up to the challenge. Here's Papianis, and easy two points on the layup. Papianis has got six in the quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And so now the timeout taken by Tom Thibodeau. GA, we've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back into vogue. And Kevin, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours, even traditional threes play the five. But with MVP level seasons from guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. So it's both teams making substitutions here. All right, a chance to check out stats for him. It's a neck-and-neck -neck game here in Los Angeles. They're off to battle the Clippers after this game as they'll be playing at the Staples Center. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. They got for us, GA. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Giannis Adentacupo could arguably be called the most feared slasher in league history. He says, I just tried to read the crowd, read the walls, and see where I can beat them. There's a second there that you can attack the seams and change your speed. I've done this 25 to 30 times every night, so I know what to look for. Kevin? He definitely does, David. A master at his craft. Hey, GA, thanks for the report. Here's Ani de Kumbo. He's covered closely. The three. Good on the triple. Eight points for him. And, and offensively, they seem to have turned a corner. And from the field, 44%. Not bad. Here's Schroeder. And the rejection by Giannis. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Charles Lamb, Popoulos, 11 feet out, and he hits it. So the defensive intensity must pick up. It hasn't been the same this half. And so now the timeout taken by Tom Thibodeau. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster.
And of course, free throws always so important. Here are the leaders. Third is Dennis Schroeder. I mean, he's not going to miss many foul shots. That's for sure. He is a machine when he gets to the charity strike. To end the drought, and it's good on the way in. Schroeder's got four this quarter. Really off on his shooting, just 20% this period. Looks like he's getting a bit frustrated. Pass to Adekumbo. And it's Butler with the rebound. Well, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. On Wednesday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Chicago against the Bulls. And then on Thursday. You know, most teams might get worried at a long road schedule like this one, but they've been so good away from home. I think they might be looking forward to it. You have to respect what this team can do when they're in your building. First one falls for And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. There's the lob at the combo. He can't get it to go. And the timing just not there on that attempted alley-oop. Just a missed connection, and it happens. I'm sure they will go back to it if given the opportunity. On the combo with the ball. Ten points for him. Lampopoulos and just miss after miss right now. Superb defense, guys. No way he's going to let him get off a clean look at the basket. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Stolen away. Here's the break. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Oh, great ball movement there. Being 43% for the game. The dish to Antetokounmpo. The pass to Giannis. From 10 feet out. It's not going to go that time. Being just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high quality shots. Low. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Three to one. wing driving to the basket and good that time he has six don't you just love that mindset there stay one step ahead of the defense the whole time great approach kicks to Kalathis
Clock at six. Shara Lamb for Pulis hits the three-point bomb. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Passes it to Wagner. Fourth foul of the night. Now he needs to be smart. Can't reach in and pick up something foolish. Shot. three off the mark. Being at 34%, pretty reasonable. There's the lob. Andre Jacumbo. And Andre Jacumbo slams it in. And not efficient in that first half, but, but they have really picked it up here. The shots that weren't falling earlier are finally finding the bottom of the net. To the middle. And he jams it with authority. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. That's good from out of the Kumbo. He's leaving something to be desired, just 36% here in the third quarter. Pass to Wagner. Pass to Aya. Four on the clock. Jacks up a three. The offensive rebound. Some solid defense from Andre Kumbo. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. And checking out the numbers for Andre Kumbo. His last 10 games, seventh in blocks, and he's in the top 10 in field goal percentage, really able to power his way to the bucket and finish through contact. And his ability to patrol the lane is a difference maker for that team. Exceptional timing and, and anticipation. Three That's shots. why he's a top 10 shot blocker. Three shots. Shot. And he's good on the first of three. And he sinks the second. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Makes it, and he continues to shoot well from the line from the field. 44%, not bad. The pass to AI. Good to Kumbo against Wagner. No good with the triple. And this has been an outstanding display on the board that it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game. Doing the dirty work down low. This is to AI. Down low. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. There's the dish to Kalathis. 
And he's going up for the alley-oop. An emphatic alley-oop jam. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Inside. And AI throws it down. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. But it allowed good. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. in the trade. 18 points for him. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? 17 seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's Kalathis. He was averaging around five and a half points a game. With the shot. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. And we've reached the end of the third. Greece, they lead by four. 2K Sports, and we'll be back in a moment here at Staples Center. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Now, here's Schroeder. Not a lot of room. Good on the 13-footer. And this is where Dennis Schroeder has tremendous upside. He's fearless, he's confident, and he is unafraid on the interior. Here's Yass. And it's Wagner with the rebound. Wagner's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Pass to Schroeder. Low. No good. That would have tied it. Being at 46%, making some buckets. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Looking to end his cold spell. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And what I love about Giannis, yeah, he's a superstar, an MVP, a champion. But best of all, Giannis is an incredible ambassador for the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. on that one so he goes one for two at the line being here about 46 percent for the game and he drives in good on the bucket pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now we play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter he's guarded by Schroeder 
Pass to Papianis. He gets it in there. And here's Schroeder. Now the pass to Wagner. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Wagner outside. Low. And it's all evened up. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. To the paint. Here's Papianis. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Papianis has got 10 points here in the second half. To the middle. Here's Wagner. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Antetokounmpo's got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeded. Gets it to go. That one good from Papianis. He's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. Just a little under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth. Back to Schroeder. It's deflected. Kicks it to Giannis. Good on the shot. And the strength Giannis has in his upper body allows him to just brush off the contact and complete that play. From outside the arc, drills the three-pointer. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Teardrop shot. A shot missing. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. Yes, that goes in. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Papagini, it falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Hard for Wagner to avoid the contact. His shooting ability is going to have defenders reacting to him. from Wagner. Well, what we know about Mo Wagner is that he has consistently grown over the course of his NBA career. This guy has versatility as a scorer. He has tremendous energy that he brings nightly, and he wants to get better. He hits both from the strike. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. And to the Kumbo inside. Back in off the glass. And to the Kumbo has got 11 points here in just the second half. Going 5 of 8 shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. And to the Kumbo defending. Misses had a chance to tie it there. Gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. They get it back. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. 20 points for him. Well, this is the kind of pass that gets everyone excited. It's also how you build great team chemistry. Target from outside. Doing it brilliantly here late. 60% from the field to take the lead. 
Anas Antetokounmpo grabs the miss. Being a brilliantly here late, 60% from the field. Shara Lam Popoulos falls right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. And he's had an excellent performance overall from the field. Now, here's Wagner. He's guarded closely. And the foul called on Antetokounmpo. That's his first foul. Wagner outside. Shot clock at five. Wagner on the wing. Nails the wide open jump shot. Wagner's got four points now in the quarter. Well, this guy has the green light to take that shot. Wagner capable of hurting you off the catch and shoot. Passes to Papianis. Shoots over Wagner. Papianis can't hit. Got more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. They now take the lead. Well, this is what you must do when you get hit on a field goal attempt, right? Schroeder keeps his concentration. What maturity he's demonstrated these last couple of years. Drives to the hoop. And it's out of the Kumbo, top of the key. Shara Lamb, Popoulos. He's defended by Wagner. And they're running. Takes it from 10. And the rejection by Giannis! Got a piece of it. Being pretty good tonight at 48%. There's the lob into the combo. And the ball travels out of bounds. Turnover. That looks like a lack of focus. You've got to question what he was trying to accomplish there. Got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Schroeder looking over the floor, lets it go from deep. Good for another field goal, number five in the night, five for 10 shooting. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Pass to Papianis. To halt the run. He takes it up and lays it in. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. Guys, they're holding on to the slimmest of leads. Yeah, and you can't afford to let that thing get any slimmer. Now, here's Wagner. He's guarded closer. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And, and how about no turnovers here in the second half, making sure they get a quality possession every time down the floor. Over to the wing. Chara Lamb Popoulos. He's defended by Wagner. Misses from short range. Being pretty good tonight at 48%. And right through it goes. He's got 22. We've seen this from Wagner over and over. This guy understands when a man is open. He's got the timing and the touch to make the pass. Pass to Giannis. Turn around Cheney. A shot off that time. And the fourth has been tremendous, 59%. There's the pass to Schroeder. Passes it to Wagner. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Here's Papianis. Can't get it to fall. Smart anchor. It passes Greg. Are really paying off for them at the moment. And also good off-ball movement. Everyone is paying attention and looking to create the best shot for the team. It's thrown by to Jacumbo. Hit me up. 
He's defended by Wagner. Floats one. Nice defense from Wagner. This guy just can't find his rhythm. And you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. And it's Schroeder missing. And 44% in the fourth. The offense with some ups and downs. Here's Ante Tacumbo. Ante Tacumbo with the finish. And you know he knows he's the leader of this team. Giannis embracing the opportunity to come through with big baskets. It balls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. Big time basket there on the inside. I mean, he had to get that one up and over the big guy. Has the ability to score against size, and those were crucial. Every aspect of Giannis's game showing tonight. Just unreal. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. That's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. Clearly a foul. First one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. Both teams deciding to change it up. And then the offensive ability to do damage afterward. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp. And his touch from the field, flawless. The, the teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good positions. And boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, guys. I listened to Tom Thibodeau talking to his team during the break. Now, he was quite encouraging in the huddle. He said, look, you're fighting out there, fellas. I can see it. I need you to keep giving you everything you have. Bring this one home. See if they can pull it off, guys. Thank you, David.
131 left here in the fourth quarter. Driving the lane, and it's blocked. A denial by Mo Wagner using his size to his advantage. One twenty-seven left in the fourth quarter. Papianis passes to Anadikumbo, lays it up off the glass. Giannis has got 13 points now in the quarter. And a big-time playmaker. When the game is up for grabs, give the rock to Giannis. Now, here's Wagner. Defense is right there. Misses the lane. To take the lead. And good! He nails it. Draws a move into the fourth. It's been an even game. Guys, teams have exchanged the lead five times thus far. There's 53 seconds left to play here in the fourth. The shot, no good. Down low. It's in! Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. Leads back. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for it. I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yeah, smart move. He's defended by Wagner. They continue to attack. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. And so now the timeout taken by Tom Thibodeau. What's your take, guys? Uh, trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. This is the very definition of desperation mode right now. They need a quick shot and a quick foul. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Shot to stop the run. Rebound, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And now we've got the intentional foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven point game. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. 
They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone satisfied. Uh, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to it in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Giannis, you have said in the past you have even more untapped potential. So how did you put your fingerprints on this game? I'm just here to do whatever it takes to help my team win. Did a great job executing, move the ball. And uh, this is what we do. This is what we do. We play together, and uh, whatever we do, hopefully we can get a win at the end of the day. Well, it certainly turned into a win tonight, man. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And that about wraps it up. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.